hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm tim mcbad a fashion and portrait photographer based in london uk so today i'll be showing you guys how i edit my fashion images um on photoshop of course but we'll be starting off from capture one since that's my raw processing tool of choice so um as you guys can see this image this was straight from camera and the image was shot like um i had my um what's the name the lights coming from camera right and i just had a bounce board camera left to fill in the shadow beats and that's basically how this particular image was shot and we have a um we have ourselves a very beautiful model right here um uh she's very stunning and also the makeup was amazing the makeup artist did a really good job alongside the stylist like everybody on the team just came in bang 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 so guys um without further ado let's just jump straight into this picture um the edit so um guys i start off with my um with this palette or should i say this menu right here basically because this image how it looks it looks really nice already i don't think i need to do much this image but the only thing i just have to do is i know i'm losing details around this a hair bit but the a is not the main concentration this particular image it's more of the outfit so but i uh, just like to recover some of the details on the shadow bit so i'm just going to increase my shadow a little bit then my black so i'm going to increase it a little bit so i can get this parts that are like very dark um after i've done that i would just like to add a little bit of contrast so she's going to like pop you know contrast is different between the highlights and the shadow so i'm just gonna add a little contrast to the picture and with this i can actually see i'm done with my raw processing right now because i can see her skin actually looks very good they look evenly matched so i don't need to start matching skin in this particular picture so if i've done this right now i can now send this image down to photoshop and now i'll do that is i'll basically just um right click and head it to it photoshop adobe so this is my edit um or my exports um recipe what i do is um, i export in photoshop psd in 16 bits um, in prof color profile of srgb and resolution of 300 pixel per inch scale fixed 100 percent then i click on edit variant so guys now that the image is sent to photoshop right now the first thing i do is i already uh, this question which i've already asked the clients beforehand is okay is this image meant to be for social media such as instagram or it's going on the website or even if if both then i would have to resize this image in a way that uh, it will be able to fit into um instagram and we all know instagram aspect ratio is four by five so i need to make sure this image is cropped properly to be in four by five dimension so i'm going to click on my crop menu and crop this picture the reason being that because you know it's a fashion picture if the image wasn't if the image wasn't shot properly and the person ends up trying to or the client ends up trying to upload this picture they might end up <laughs> uploading and have maybe half of the shots um, of the pants gone you get me so which isn't proper it's not actually selling the product for the client so i immediately try as much as possible to create the aspect ratio that is going to be befitting for each of the picture so i'm going to crop this image this way then the next thing i'm going to do right now is to jump by jump into using my frequency separation and by doing that i just come to my action menu and i play my frequency separation i make sure it's 16 bits because i remember sending the image from capture one in a 16 bit color profile in a 16 bit rate sorry guys i click on it then i make sure i use a radius about two the reason why i use two is because for full length pictures majorly i know the we have really less details and the best that just works for me really is about a radius of one to three so i'm just going to use two for this particular image i'm going to click on ok then now i can start doing the frequency separation by working on the low frequency layer by using the mixer brush tool which i'm going to use about here we'll click on the mixer brush to my setting is all on 30 my weight 30 my load 30 my mix 30 my flow on 30 and i make sure this part is blank and by clicking this bit right here so guys i'm going to start my frequency separation
You know, as I'm, I'm going to pick my mixer brush, I'm going to start um, a brushing a skin and because it's a full end portrait, um, really you don't need to like spend much time um, on the skin because the main focus is um, the the outfits. So I'm going to like uh, I'm going to start airbrushing right now by picking the mixer brush, just blending the skin out to look very decent. Um, doing and painting the shadow on the shadow parts and the highlights on the highlights parts because yeah i think virtually everybody knows how to like do i, I wouldn't say everybody but like most people know how to do, um, use the frequency separation right now so that's what i'm going to do i'm not going to do much on the subject skin just sub to all oh, that's what i have to do so um I just keep painting and just just make sure our skin looks good and well enough and yeah so I'm going to come to the because right now I'm on the low frequency layer guys as you can see um, I'm going to do the same thing to our arm right here just make the skin look even that's that's the main idea behind this so you can see guys i'm not just brushing any i'm basically just picking the highlights points painting on the highlights picking the shadow beads and painting the shadows too at the same time so i'm gonna do this power hammer the objective is not to like um modify the skin or make like modify the picture itself i just want to follow what's already laid out in the picture so yeah do the same thing here too and this tattoo bit i'm just going to leave the tattoo bit alone because see if i paint over it it's going to look um it's going to smudge so i wouldn't do that paint a skin right there same with this other ham right here Yes, you see, it even looks as if I'm not even doing anything at all. That's that's the aim and objective of this. It's just to make it and keep it natural. Same way I fit to. I'm gonna do the same thing to our feet. Alright. So for now, I can see I'm actually like. Um, I can see I'm done with the lower lower frequency separation. Yeah, just make it look decent. So all, what I have to do right now is to work on my high frequency. That's by removing like the spots and blemishes and fixing the spots right here too. And um, yes, guys, I think that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, so so guys, I'm gonna use the low frequency. Okay, so guys, um, I think I think we're making progress here. I could just fix this bit she got here. And um, guys, so just to show you guys what we've done, like the before and after of this right now, we have this before, after, before, after, you know, it's just, you know, it's more about the outfits, uh, just the skin can just be touched a little, that's the way I tend to do more like fashion kind of pictures. So right now I can see different creases on the background, so what I do is, um, this is how I go about um, editing the background so it, it looks cleaner um, I go to my select then select subject then after I've selected my subject you just allow Photoshop do its thing I think it does a really good job though so when Photoshop selects the subject then I'm going to like um, invert it by pressing the i could either come down to my select and inverse 
or shift command i to inverse it then i'm going is it inverse or invert <laughs> invert it guys so i'm going to invert it then press ctrl j remember guys i'm doing it on the low frequency layer i did the selection in low frequency layer so i'm going to create a duplicate of that selection by pressing command j so um after i've done that i could now come down here to my filter menu and go to my blow then gaussian blow and increase my gaussian blow guys ignore the fact that we have the screen or the everything is looking really messy right now so i can increase my gaussian blow to a level that i think all of this is looking like better or looking clean enough so after i've done that i'm just going to leave this radius right now i'm going to press ok then after i've done that guys i'm going to come down here to my max to i'm going to click on my max to and this is just you know different strips for different folks guys just to make things easier for me i press the i press the b button which is um the, for the brush tool or i just go down here to my brush tool i select my brush tool and i decide to paint black you know black hide so i'm going to paint black over my subject just to make sure all of those spread of the selection i made or the gaussian the gaussian blow i made doesn't actually affect my subject so i'll do it yeah you can just mess around with this one basically i'm just gonna paint over my subject as you guys can see here yeah so as you guys can see let me show you guys the before and after of what we have done this is the before guys and here's the after before after i need to zoom this in for you guys to see the difference right now we are not done yet so i'll say before after before after good so after i've done this guys it's now up to you it's a personal choice if you want to still blend all of this but obviously this is the shadow due to like the position of the light i'm going to leave that of course if you want to take this out you could basically just use the touch and point to like just reduce the um, darkness of this bit so guys to wrap this up i create a new layer so after i create a new layer i make sure i the the layer i create is an overlay layer and i fill it with a gray and i press ok so after i've done that guys this what i want to do right now is i want to add greens to the picture because definitely greens is going to add a little bit of texture to the picture or to the background and maybe the subject so they don't look um too digital and too fake so i'm going to come to my filter menu and come to the noise and i would add noise and this time is i had I make sure it's a monochromatic noise amount so i leave it in about 10 radius i press ok um you guys can see what it just did just like added a general noise everywhere making the image look very mushy but i'm going to solve that guys i would come down here to the filter blow then gaussian blow then i reduce my opacity sorry the radius of the gaussian blow to about one percent that works for me so i've reduced the ashness of the green so guys you can see what it did to the background it added a little bit of textures to the background and i think he affected the subject skin here too because i actually didn't select the subject out before doing this so but this is how i like it i could decide to select the subject out so the subject looks clean and do it to the background only but for this image i just actually enjoy the way we have a little bit of green on our subject and the green is soft at the same time so i like it that way i'm going to do it this way so the image the background looks real this time there's texture it doesn't look fake right now then what i could do is if i feel it's too much i can decide to come to the opacity and reduce the opacity to any amount i feel like and that's it and one final thing i do is basically because you know you've added green and everything yeah, you might be losing contrast that way so i just had a little bit of contrast by drawing a normal s curve to the image so i draw an s curve just to create a little bit more contrast to our picture 
as you guys can see right here we have our before and after so it added more life to the picture you can see our subject skin before the before adding the s curve and after you see the pop in the picture right now so let me show you guys the before and after from the beginning right now which is about here this is where we started from and this is where we are right now easy peasy no long thing <laughs> we just started this in like no time and here we are so guys um if you actually enjoyed this video kindly like share and subscribe on my channel and don't forget to hit the bell notification icon to get notified as i drop videos weekly cheers guys